All right, hey everybody, Cody here, back at Halls of Torment. So the uh, Cupbearer is officially added into the uh, non-beta branch, the main branch of the game. So y'all can, anyone can find them now. So so far, what I've gotten is I've gotten the strong wine, which lets us reroll, and I don't exactly know what these other ones are. I think one is a banish one, and then I think one lets you, like I think this one lets you double. The, uh, like the perk that you pick up or something like that and then I, I don't know what this one is but there's ingredients that you have to find so I did a run just to like test out how the necklace worked because I didn't want to like put out a video with the wrong information but I found these three on the first stage so we'll probably play the second stage and try to find the uh, the three ingredients there so when you unlock him you'll get the gatherer's charm which is like a little I don't know, Wayfinder GPS style thing to help you find them. And then, um, I, don't, I don't know, the best headpiece is probably Wind Crown still, just for the attack speed, but I wanted to play Sorcerer and do a silly magic electrical damage run. So I've got that uh, for our movement speed so we can get to the stuff faster. I've got Gatherer's Charm and Runner's Shoes. I still have some healing quests that need to get done, so use the Blood Soaked Shirt so we can heal. Um, we're going to use our main attack, so I'm just going to use Hunting Gloves. These are probably the best gloves in the game, unless you're going for like a spells-only build. And then uh, Guiding Star for that extra 10% attack speed and 10% movement speed, because we're probably going to be using our main attack a lot. But yeah, that's pretty much it for the intro. Let's hop in. And I did the first stage. It'd be cool if it... Uh, I don't know, I kind of like how clean the UI is. Maybe if it was down here or something, if it showed you, like, what you found on the stage as far as, like, items and stuff. Like, if the Wellkeeper was here or something, too. But I kind of like how clean it looks, so I don't know about that now that I've said it out loud. But, man, I wanted to record this video a while ago, but I have not been feeling well. I'm still kind of getting over it. I think I had a really bad allergy attack. And my sinuses are so inflamed right now. Um, hmm... None of y'all are magic attacks. Lightning tends to kill them, so I guess we go Kurgle Blitz for the extra lightning chance. So y'all see over here how it's pointing in all different directions? So that, that'll guide you. Oh, so there's four on this map then, huh? Oh, interesting. Well, we'll just walk left, because there's this thing over here. Dude, the music in this game is so good. Yeah, and you'll see see how the circle's like bigger because we walked closer to it and these got more faded and stuff. Oh, that's right. I'm not auto-attacking so I can move faster. Where did you come from? Interesting. Oh. But yeah, I'll try to edit out any sniffles or anything like that that happened. I recorded a video for... Cross blitz. Ooh, nice. This one has the dude. So transfiction is magic, right? Physical, physical. Are you considered melee? No, but you're melee. Interesting. Yeah, magic, projectile, fragile. So I think I have to defeat this guy and then the other thing will show up. I think we reroll. I don't really care about cone size. I would rather get like damage or attack speed. Attack speed's good. Okay, we can auto attack now. Some damage. Um. I don't know if I can see damage two, or I don't think I can see any of the level twos until I'm at least level five. So I guess I'll take... Well, range makes my lightning go further. That's probably better than the range on the other ones. Ah, oh, why is auto... I pulled the trigger. It's been too long since I've played Hall of Torment. I've played so many other games. Um, I guess I'll take movement speed just so we can get the other stuff faster. We're on the second stage, so I don't think we're going to hit the um, level 100. I also don't have the amulet equipped, so... On hit effect of the main weapon. Yeah, that sounds good. 
We kind of want them to be electrified. That's a different. That's cool that they have, the bottles look different. Um, I think this is a reroll here, right? A chance main weapon. I think last time was the crit chance could apply more stuff or something. I can't remember because the other one's more um, piercing, right? Is the other version of this? My brain is all foggy right now. I guess let's do movement speed, so we can get to the other stuff. Mm. Did I pick the thing up that was over here? I don't think we did, but electrify sounds good. This will go this way, because these are brighter. Yeah, I don't remember seeing a... A veg there, or whatever, like a pickup. Um, sure, why not? Okay, so let's stop auto attacking so I move faster. Oh. Got past something. Oh, there it is. Look at that. Yeah, we've got to defeat the green guys. The plant, the plant defenders. I wonder if they're going to change what they look like. Into more, because like right now they're just like a green skin of the golem guys. I wonder if that's like a placeholder art thing. I guess range for my main attack? I guess I don't have to kill these guys, huh? I could have just ran away. I was already picked up the, the herb. Um, yeah, I'll do movement speed again. Again, just so I can get to the other one faster. Sure. For a chance, lightning. Sounds good. We're only level 50. Um, yeah, more projectiles. Ooh, additional attacks. Maybe I just want crit chance here. Yeah, let's get range. Let's just finish that off. Makes the transfiction stuff go further so it can electrify more peeps. Um, I don't really want damage. I don't really want any of these. I guess I'll do block strength because it's strong on this character. Okay. All right. Uh, let's start walking. Um, yeah, firing capacity. That sounds good. Guess we kind of head to the other spell and then see how it goes. Um, yeah, I'll just take damage. It's fine. Okay. This one looks like we might be near something here. Like it's above us a little bit. Um. Okay, so it's more projectiles or just attack speed. Um, I'll do attack speed because I don't have the crown. I kind of want to get transfiction up though. Just and that's a fine trip. Just so we can see the um, uh, evolution or whatever it's whatever we call it, the upgrade for the spell. Okay, we're getting close to something. There it is, a little mushroom. The so, jumps. Okay, let's go get the spell and then we'll go look for the other two. I guess that means there's only two on the next stage. Oh, interesting. So you can banish, but you lose a level up. That's cool. We'll use that on something I haven't taken yet. Like, block is fine because it's strong on her. Like, all these are good. We don't want to banish any of these. We can banish, like, health regen or something. That's cool. I didn't expect it to give me immediate access to it. I guess we collected all the ingredients for it. Um, I guess since this does magic damage, we want it. I don't really want any of these, honestly. 
I could take the golem to try to get another electrify thing. But that sounds kind of bad. Okay, do I want to stand still and level up to get this uh, scroll? Nah. I'll just come back for it whenever we're level, uh, whenever we're high enough level. Oh my god. Ugh. Like my, like my, like y'all know how you're like, you've got like sinuses on your cheek or whatever? Yeah, here, like duration, I'll just ban duration. I do think, I think duration does affect how long the Kurgle Blitz sticks around, but it's kind of useless other than that. Okay, so it looks like we're getting close to something down here. But this is pretty cool. I, I do think that... I don't know if they changed it, but I think we take on hit chance. But I think... Like, I have all the equipment now, I, I think. Don't hold me to it. It took me forever to get all of it since the, the game released into early access. But um, I think, I don't know if you immediately get the potion bonus or not, like the one we got from that boss that we fought at the spell, or elite, that was an elite, right? Uh, projectile speed, huh? I think with the targeting, you don't want that, but it lasts longer, but it does more shock waves. Huh, that seems fine, I guess. But I think the shockwave is what actually electrocutes people. Not a hundred percent sure, actually. Okay, that's one at level three though. Base damage and range. I don't really care about fragile because fragile is it's okay. But I'll get I'll get like the bone. I don't really care about that. I don't really care about its damage, but the range is nice. Okay, let me stop auto-attacking so we can get over to the last one. Okay, we get closer. But I think, like, I think we have to send this potion bottle that- the bottle that we got, I think you have to send it back in the well. And I think you can only send... Oop, I overwalked it. I think you can only send back... Oh, the boss is here. I just stood right on his fire. Okay, let's attack again. But you can still only send back one equipment and one um, item, which feels kind of bad. Why is it in quotes? What is that about? Oh. <laughs> like, theoretically. Ooh, what is this? Until you take it, you can choose a trade afterwards. Oh, that's kind of cool. Huh. Interesting. Good way to, like, pocket something if you wanted two of them. Interesting. I'll just go cone size. I don't think we have that high of a crit chance. Oh, there's not even a crit bonus for her. Interesting. I feel like we, we noticed that last time. multi-hit, I think. Hey, we like shredded this guy. Um, nah. Yeah, I don't have any use for those. Would have liked like some new, like a new amulet or new boots or something. Oh, orbs would be pretty funny to pick up because we would do so much orb damage, critical hit supply, electrify. Like, is that the only payoff for doing critical hits on her? Is that you can electrify stuff more consistently? She doesn't have a damage bonus. That's interesting. It's like, like a kind of unique mechanic. Cute, I guess. In quotes again. It's funny. Um, I guess. I don't know, I kind of want to keep that one low. Maybe I shouldn't have taken it. I'd rather get the other two upgraded. 
Okay. But, like, you have the stuff. Like, I did this. Actually, should we just do a harvest video, I wonder? Like, hey, this is how you get all the stuff? Because I could just quit out now. Maybe. Like, there's no need to finish the run. Like, I did what I needed to do. There's nothing, like... There's no more quest I need to do. Yeah, let's do that. Let's. This will just be, like, a... Overview for the, uh... Quest guy. Um, yeah, strength, whatever. Like, I have so much meta progression, a lot of these level ups don't matter that much. Like, it matters a little bit on the third stage, but with the shrine fully upgraded, I can kind of just do whatever I want. Uh, I don't want strikes. I know that much. Where is the well? Did I walk past it? Oh, sure did. Yeah, we do need to... Yeah, so you have to send the item back. And then I can just give up. Nice. And then I think you have to buy... Yeah, you have to buy the bottles. It's a little clunky, I would say. I don't know, like I have all the equipment, so someone that's not as far along as me if you know what's going on. But if you can only send back one bottle a run, like it's gonna take a while to max this stuff out. But you can just do what we just did and start and stop. I guess I'll do Warlock, his quester. I need to like take a bunch of damage on him. Yeah, Guiding Star sounds fine. Yeah, it's a totally fine loadout. Okay, so we have two more herbs to get to see what the last potion is. But it'd be cool if there was like, I don't know, I do, I, I like how clean this looks. But we'll see, the game's still on early access, so they're still going through everything. Oh, let's do Meteor Strike, I haven't done that one in a while. Yeah, so it looks like there's one at the top of the bridge. I should stop attacking. Get that, get that sweet movement speed bonus. Oh my god, I felt like I needed a cough, like, since I got back to the camp. It's like, just like, tickling the back of my throat right now. Very annoying. Hey, you guys leave me alone. Okay, that wasn't that far. Hey, fellas. Alright, I guess let's level up a little bit. Um... Yeah, damage sounds fine. Uh, I guess health? Uh, no, nah, let's reroll. Yeah, attack speed sounds great. Oh, movement speed was there. Movement speed might not have been bad. I'm not going to finish the run. Though. Um, yeah, attack speed's fine. Movement speed again, perfect. Movement speed, perfect. Okay. Okay, stop attacking. Or maybe I will. I don't know. We'll see. I probably won't, though. I'll probably just do a quick, short little... This is how you unlock potions and stuff. And then I think that the... I don't know if it's the first spell you go to on the map. But so far, in my last few runs, every... The first spell I go to, besides the one that's, like, at the spawn point, it, um, it has, like, a guy defending it, and that, that dude always drops a potion. Or not a potion, but a bottle. So I think that's like the farming strategy. Don't um, quote me on that, obviously, but I'm like pretty certain that's that's what people are doing. Because I know some people on the Discord already have posted like screenshots of them having all the potions maxed out and stuff, which I thought was kind of funny. But I want to try to figure out what the most broken... Oh, there it is. Look. There we go. So I do want to get a bottle from this. So we'll run down to this spell. And uh, see what happens. Um, yeah, explosion area sounds great.
Um, sure. Area's bigger. Why not? I wonder how many other classes we're going to get. But. Be sweet. I'm just ready for new stuff. Um, I guess Golem, because I'm this guy. He is much better than he used to be. Uh, interesting. So this spell wasn't defended? Because that's like the boss that comes out at this time, I think. Um, see, I don't really want that because that makes the golem's roll last longer as far as I know. Be applied twice. I wonder what the best stuff to use that in. That's the new potion that we get. It's cool that it gives it to you right away. I do think I like the circle roll better than the other one. It was kind of hard to control the other one because he would always roll towards you, right? Just ban that, I guess. Let's see how it works. Doesn't really matter what we're doing here. Don't want roll to be longer. Let's get that. Okay. Uh, let's go to the other spell, see if it's got the Guardian on it. Pardon me, fellas. Dude, I love, like, how good the movement and hitboxes are in this game. Ugh. Like, like, you can thread the needle so, so well. And I think, I think part of that is, um, just from the fact that it's, like, 3D-ish? Pretty sure it's still 3D. Or I don't know if it's 2D, but I don't know. The hitboxes are really good, is what I'm trying to say. Nice. Dude, that was a really good straight roll he did there. Damage, because the golem gets affected. Huh, that was weird. Well, hopefully, this spell is defended by somebody, and we can beat him up and get another potion from him. But yeah, only being able to get one potion or one piece of equipment from a run sounds bad. I wonder what they're gonna do. Maybe they'll be like a like a wellkeeper upgrade or something. Like you pay him money and he upgrades the bucket, so it can take more stuff back. Yeah, leave one item here. Yeah, I know. I think some people said like maybe if you win you get to bring something back too that would be cool i'm sure they're working on something but it feels really odd oh man i just sniffled damn it it means i'm gonna have to scrub through this whole thing to delete that sniffle pretty sure that got picked up um i don't really want to move slower I'll, I'll take that though it's fine Oh, I could double up on one of those, huh? Make my summons really strong? Which, I mean, my... Like, does that affect his main attack as well? Right, his main attack is considered a summon. Interesting. But I think it's applied twice, so you don't get, like... It's not like you get two... Well, it's basically like you get two. Yeah, so this one's defended, okay. Oh, hey, look, it's this guy. You're not supposed to be on this map. Um, guess I'll just take Dragon's Breath because we have fire stuff already. Yeah, attack speed and roll cooldown. Yeah. So I don't know exactly what that means. Like, I feel like it means he doesn't roll as long, but it could also mean that he moves faster I feel like how many double ups do I have this one huh let's try that one out so it's locked in place let's get some more damage on our summons we've got two so maybe we should like double up the next fire affinity we see or something 
duration. I don't really care about that all that much. I mostly don't want to get rid of my movement speed because I have to run back to the thing. Um, yeah, let's get Dragon's Breath, I guess. Yeah, that's the Dragon's Breath one I want, so let's get that again. Oh, here we go. Let's double up on that. To be applied. But how does that look in the traits? So you just get it twice. Okay, that makes sense. I like how I just said I didn't want to get rid of my movement speed so I could run back to the wall faster, and then I immediately got my movements. I, I went back. <laughs> Double multi hit? That sounds good, but there's probably better stuff to double up, right? But I think I think you can get three of those um, potions, so you can double up on like three abilities. It's probably best to do it on like your final traits, I think, like your main character ones. Burn chance. Uh, no, let's get the golem. Nice, so we got the wine bottle. Range and area, that sounds awesome. Oh hey look, I got both at the same time. That's so weird, I always get the later one so much further. The electrify one while golem's rolling. Nah, we're a, we're a fire build, baby. Granted, I think I am just gonna run to the, um, run to the well, put the potion in there, and just let them kill me. I think. And then next video I record will be a normal normal run. Like I think I need to get I have a, just a couple quests left to do. Fine. I have one more revival also. Good on that. Shouldn't be a problem. Yeah, looks like we're gonna make it no trouble at all. Don't wanna die again. I'd like to. Oh, that didn't make any sense. Why did I take that? I wanna take damage. Or health I can lose. I have whatever the warlock quest is where you gotta take a bunch of damage. I wonder, does that unlock an item? I can't remember. I know the, like, I have a maiden's one that's like for anybody and it's like recover so much health. Bam. And it's gone. Okay, let's see if we can get some health from this. Alright, cool. And then we'll just let him kill us for the end of the run. Uh, sure. Whatever. Oh, man, it'd be so cool. Well, I guess you can't do it because they're upgrades, but if you could use this one on the... Uh, um, what's it called? Um, is there only two levels to fire infinity? It's the same each level up, so I'm just gonna double that one. But yeah, let me know what y'all think the coolest stuff to double up would be. I'll have to go through and maybe I'll look at the wiki. I think people have started to actually update it now. Um... What is this? More projectiles, but damage is lower. I think that's the way to go. We did the we did that like one projectile one last time. It was very bad because it was so small. Like it like it didn't get big enough, you know. Sure, attack speed. See how long it takes him to kill me. Might be hard on this stage, just because of uh, hey, never something I actually want to replace. Here's what I'm going to do. Strength sounds fine. I'm going to stand right here and not move. We'll see if we make it. I we should die eventually. 
We'll see. But that should allow me to take the maximum amount of damage. But they might have trouble getting in. Look at Golem out there patrolling and stuff. But ideally what you would want to do is just like... You sent the potion back, quit out, reload the run. And then uh, go in there. Yeah, I'm just going to run into y'all so y'all hurt me. Oh, I should have taken the health there. Yeah. There we go. I'm just doing this because I need to get the Warlock quest done for taking damage. I sniffled again. Oh my god. Sorry, I should I should cut that out. If I miss it, I'm sorry. But there we go. So now we have all of the potions unlocked. So that's how you do that. Um, yeah, you just got to do the Cupbearer quest. It's on the um, third stage. I don't know if it'll just... I imagine it's just there once you get to the third stage now. You... So I don't know if that one will be automatically highlighted from the beginning or if you'll have to like make it show up, but I imagine he would just be on the stage because if I remember correctly, the first time I went to the second stage, the Wellkeeper was there. 600 gold, okay. So they have different costs and stuff. But yeah, this is the, the item retrieval thing feels a little awkward now. It's always been a little awkward only being able to send back one item, but like it was fine at first because there wasn't a whole bunch of stuff in there. I don't know, I'm like, I have everything, so like, it was fine while I did it, but like, new people that are coming to the game, I feel like it's gonna be bad for them, because there's so much stuff to, like, unlock, and then like, I don't know, I don't know how to word it properly, but like, you know, like, if you're new, you're gonna have to choose between, hey, do I want to send this equipment back, or potions? I think getting more potion bottles is probably better. You have to do that multiple times. Um, but like, I mean, y'all watch my videos. Most of my runs, I use like the same equipment. Like there's, there's some stuff, like all the summon stuff is like very meme -y. Like you don't need that. Like that's something you should get later. But like, like echoing band is cool, but it's not really like, unless you're playing a swordsman, you don't really do much with it. I feel like. Um, same thing, like, this is the best chess piece in the game, like, they added some cool new ones, but, like, the healing you get from this one is insane. There's only, like, two gloves that are good, this one and this one. Like, this one's kind of meme -y. I think these are the ones you get for free. Like, this one's kind of cool, but it's basically useless on everybody but the Warlock, which I think is fine to have items that are only good on some characters. Like, this crown, this headpiece just demolishes every other headpiece. Um, rings, like, I think these are the two best rings. These two are fun, but they don't do anything. Until you have the gold to buy revives, you need Seal of Rebirth. But, like, I don't know. Like, if you put money into meta progression, you don't need the equipment. The equipment's just kind of, like, adds cool stuff that can happen. But I know some people are annoyed about how you get the rerolls and stuff. I kind of like that it's tied to the game and not just, uh... Oh, here, have some gold so I can unlock new stuff. But that's just me. Uh, yeah, sorry. Weird uh, end of runs rant over. Uh, but yeah, thanks for watching, everybody. I appreciate it. Anybody that's, uh, you know, become a channel member or done the super thanks or whatever, really appreciate it. We just hit 900 subs, which is insane. So awesome. So thank you all so much. I really do appreciate it. And uh, yeah, have a great whatever until I see you next time.